French real estate. Hello everybody, this is David, founder of ESRA France, your source for French real estate information explained in English, so you understand as much as possible the French real estate buying process. This is a great opportunity for you to learn about how buying real estate works in France before you start looking at properties to help you avoid mistakes and reduce stress that you could encounter in the process. In addition, if you're looking for an English-speaking French real estate agent or an English-speaking, for example, French mortgage broker, you can reach out to us and we can help you connect with the person to assist you. Today's audio cast is to share with you information about French doors. Yes, indeed, as you watch the, uh, pardon me, as you listen to this audio cast, you'll also be seeing images of doors in French villages. Now, the inspiration behind this was because I've seen a lot of problems with French doors in my time, particularly a property that I bought in France, where, well, let me tell you the story. When we visited the home, looked beautiful, opened the door, went inside, fell in love with the home with the vaulted ceilings. This is a village home, all the, the stonework inside, it was just gorgeous. But then on the day of moving in, went to open the front door and realized that the door didn't open all the way. It was a problem with the door that we hadn't noticed, and it was our mistake. The door actually only opened probably about one third of the full distance it needed to move, which is a real problem when it came to moving furniture into the home. And this was not an easy thing to fix because this was a wrought iron, like an iron door with glass in it. And what had happened at some point in time, somebody had tiled the entranceway, bringing it up extra height so that the door didn't fully open hadn't noticed this so this is something i want to bring to your attention because you need to pay close attention to the doors in french homes particularly in the village homes because there can be changes in time wear and tear on the doors that could end up being a problem for you when you move in for example when you see the property you know without having an inspector come into the home because that's something you should do in france is have an inspector check out the property but on the first visit to the home Push the door all the way open. Does it open all the way? Can you push it to completely to one side? or And then when you close it, does it close easily? Or does it take several efforts to get it to kind of clunk or click in place? Look at the hinges of the door. Very briefly, look at the locking system. Is it an effective locking system, particularly for the front door? Will it be secure? That was a mistake I made as well, but looking at the door, pardon me, talking about the door I mentioned earlier in this audio cast, is that the front door didn't have a proper locking system, and it can be really expensive to change that, to properly secure a door. So look at the locking system. Does the door fully open? How does it close? Also as well, beyond the door, look at the framework around it. Is that secure? Is it in good condition? As you Look at the different images of doors coming through in the background here as you listen to the audio cast. Sometimes the structure around the door can be really rough in the sense that it could be stonework that's falling apart. You want to take a look at that. Actually, you want to get a property inspector to take a look at that and see if it's really good. Also consider other things about the door. Is it a door that you actually really like? Would it be easy for you to repaint? These are extra ideas to consider. Will it let enough light into the home? Do you anticipate doing that? If it's a door that's in poor condition, will it be expensive for you to repair? These are all kinds of questions you need to ask yourself simply about the door on the French property you're looking at. And I'm just referring to external doors. Internal doors in the property as well. You'd want to open and close all of them and see if they move easily to avoid additional costs when you buy the home. This is David. Thank you very much for listening to this. This is ESOR France, your source for French real estate information explained in English. Please subscribe wherever you saw this and jump over to our website right now and get a copy of our free e-guide, Mistakes to Avoid When You're Buying Real Estate in France. That's a free e-guide. Just jump over to esrafrance.com. Thanks for listening. Look forward to sharing with you more soon. Bye for now.